Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And the cats are excited. They're already going meow, 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 meow. Yeah. They know what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, today we're going to be playing two Atari 8-bit games. There we go. Mm -hmm. And they are actually winners of the ABBUC contest of years past. Years past, okay. So when I was the um, preparing the ABBUC contest for this year, yeah. I was looking at previous years, and I was okay. like, oh, I haven't played some of these winners of previous years. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, some of these are really good. Excellent. And tonight we're going to be playing two games that you will really like. Are they They're puzzly, puzzly but uh, not like staring at the screen puzzly. Okay, not okay. Like numbers. No one's speaking for 20 minutes yeah, straight because we're stare. trying to figure something out puzzly. It's, it's okay. not like figuring out formulas or uh, okay. trying to decipher words on the screen. No, there's... Okay. There's action to them, okay. but they're also puzzles. I like yeah. puzzly action-y games. So. Um, so the two games are Marbled and Ridiculous Reality. Mm. And... Um, Pseudo Graphics, who is in the chat tonight, mm -hmm. just chatted, mm -hmm. um, did uh, some of the work on Marbled. So he can uh, talk to that yes. game. Okay. He did the uh, in game graphics, game design, and documentation. Uh, worth noting that not just the winners are often great. Uh, yes, yes, of course. But uh, I picked these two specifically out because they are puzzle they are games. Winners. And I wanted to, yeah. and winners too. Yeah. Um, because I wanted to put them on a stream when Tanya's yeah. here. Excellent. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who are right around there. Right here. Uh, who support the show. Al Nefer, Andrea, Atari, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, Beer Poke Up, Charles Dunamel, Charles Will, Chit Lola, Kurt, Cyrano Reboot, Dan FC, Drexel, Dr. Move, Cows, Gamma, Dev, Glenn, Maine, Grand Defender, Ground Trooper, Giraffe, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Veltiver, Lambda Express, Mark Giannis, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Saul, Michael Dow, Miss Command, M Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Fonson, Nathan Storm, Neo Mina, Nostalgia, Pack Rat, Koag RC70, Render Ghost, Sprintless VG, Gavin Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Rod Kessler, Six Sweet, Spetty B, Spiceware, Spendly Astromares, D Train, Tika Dan K, Trek and Vex, Rags, Vintage Game Memories, Vitoko, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. And if you would like to support the show and support the cats, you can. Just hit subscribe at the top. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. We have a poll question Ooh. tonight. What is the poll question? The poll question is. When do you normally game? When do you normally play games? Mm. One in the evening, mm. two on the weekends, three days off. These are like days off you don't normally get. Mm -hmm. You know, like a Friday or a Monday bonus holidays. Bonus they kind of coincide. Bonus days. Um, four whenever I can. Yes. Like any moment you could fit it in. Uh, number five, I don't get to game enough. That's, <laughs> so that's basically, like, you no. don't get to game, but you want to. You wish you could. Uh, right. Pseudographics, mine would be whenever I want. Yes. <laughs> I, sh I should have put that one in. Mm -hmm. um, you can type six. It won't count. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, 48K, 48K Ram, Ram, thank you! Rating, woo! Welcome! Uh, we just did a poll. Uh, you can see it on the screen. There's the answers. Oh, 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 uh, one here. through five. When do you normally here. game? Here. Right around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right around there. Lower, a little bit lower. lower. There you go. Lower yeah, there, there you go. There. Um, so you can type that in. So uh, not really any mail or news, but kind of uh, studio news. I've been trying to fix my Atari 8-bit color output mm. because it's going from normal to kind of sickly yellow and then That's back to normal good. and sickly yellow. Oh no! So I bought a new video connector. That didn't solve it. Yes. Now I have two, which yeah. is good. It's good to have a backup. Um, and then I bought a new power supply, mm. which we're using tonight um, mm -hmm. at the suggestion of Pseudographics, who's in the chat, um, because the power usage was between 1.4 and 1.9 amps, and I was plugged into a 2.1, so it was right to the edge. Mm. 1.9 .9 and 2.1 is like, that's eh, a little too close. You want to have some room. Um, because I have a lot of add-ons on the system yes. that are sapping up the power. Um, but that didn't help. Mm. I, just, I just tried it today, and it's like, oh, it's still doing it. I didn't think it would, um, because... When I move the system, that's when it kind of fluctuates. So there's something in the board or the, the electronics that's causing the problem? Yeah, it's a, 
an edge case, some wire mm. that's not quite connected right. So yeah. I'm going to have to open it up, unfortunately. I'm going with loose connection to the VBX-E side. That's what I'm suspecting as well. So I'm going to start investigating from the video connection backwards because it's, it's a video issue. Mm. So what I'm going to do is open it up, have it on, start poking around with a piece of plastic, not metal, uh, <laughs> and see if I can find the wire. Like or what's loose. Or the connection yeah. that's loose. And hopefully it's something easy to replace. Not something too hard to fix. Something I can yeah. solder that's not... Yeah, dodgy, <laughs> dodgy bodge. A dodgy bodge. Yeah, that's that a good sounds description. about right. Um, because these are aftermarket add-ons, the VBXE video upgrade. So it is a dodgy watch. <laughs> it was working for a while when I first got this, but now it's kind of, eh. mm. Maybe a pin that doesn't make a proper connection to the socket. Just try wiggling the VBXE uh, with a little something running to see. Yeah, so I'm going to just the out, like right from the connector of the on the inside mm. and start wiggling the wires. So we'll see. Um, so we had retro game night. On Saturday, yes, yes, not, not on the stream, weekend. but you know, locally no, with friends, a little local one, yeah. Um, but we'll we'll talk about that uh, a little okay. bit later. Okay. That's a good conversation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing, Atari 1974, 20 months. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the explosion. raiders coming in. Yeah. Yeah, the raiders too. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna get to the first game. We're just gonna jump all right into right. it. All right, love it. First game is Marble. No news. No Marble. News no today. news is good news. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's Atari. 2600 plus things going on well i'll probably Talk, sprinkle chat those about in. that as we go it's through. not really yeah. news it's covered on other streams it's not really homebrew we related. did not hear the speech synth really really we did here we did i mean That's i was odd. talking um i it did trigger yeah and i did hear it is it not coming through it's turned up hmm uh mix it up audio is is going through okay um oh let's see hmm well that should perhaps not. i did not catch it says pseudographics hmm. the stream That's... paused for about 10 to 15 seconds for me during that time well then well, that might be why okay. then maybe there's a stream <laughs> issue don't believe i heard it either yeah. okay interesting hmm. let's see if i can trigger one your game is not couch compliant. You have 30 <laughs> seconds to comply. Did everybody hear that one? Um, <laughs> that's an easy one to, to trigger because yeah. it doesn't really wreck anything. Yeah. It I worked. heard that. Okay. okay. So we're okay. fine. We're fine. I, I was I was talking. Yeah. Um, so the first one is Marbled by uh, Merrick Pavlik. Um, Zdenek Eisenhammer, which is pseudographics. And uh, Michał Spilowski. Um, and it was the winner of the 2011 uh, ABBUC. Nice. And it is a port of a port. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at where it came from. Uh, so it originally came from an Amiga game. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to see this? We'll go there. And we'll restart that. So this is the Amiga game. Let's just fast forward a bit because it sits on this menu for a long time for some oh, reason. Oh, really? Oh, because music's playing. That's oh, why. I see, I see. But we're not going to listen to music. Okay. Um, so it, it's it's a puzzle game of getting a marble to the end uh, where you're supposed to get it. <clears throat> and there's tiles that you can switch uh, to oh, help it along its okay. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will give a little example there. I've played a game like this before. Yeah, there's variations of games like this. It might not have been like this, this particular one, but I've definitely played a very similar one. Yeah. That was 12 years ago. Oh, my God, says Rod Kassler. <laughs> uh, we're all good here. Yeah. The stream has not dropped even one frame okay so i would restart your connection maybe? Uh, yeah. and uh so it started on the amiga and then it was ported to the pc mm. um and we'll take a look at that now oh these are both playing in the background that's so funny yeah <laughs> causing problems i don't know there we go so there's the pc version very very um mid 2010s, 2000s graphics, very PC graphics there. Mm -hmm. um, so this, yes, this came in first place in the 2011 ABBUC 
contest. Um, so you have to collect the diamonds. We'll get to the instructions in a bit. But basically, get to the end. Gotcha. Um, collect and, all the diamonds, get to the end. Don't jump on the thing that kills you, I'm yeah, guessing. Don't jump on the skull and crossbones, Boom, as per dead. usual. Yes. yes. No skull and crossbones? Uh, no buffering, but I had to reload because of audio delay. Yeah, yeah. and then Twitch isn't perfect. Uh, yeah. Ivory Tower says, I think the issue is my relatives that are staying at, at the tower for the holiday. Using up all the Sucking bandwidth. Sucking down the bandwidth, yeah. Yep. Yeah, blame the relatives. That's That works. <laughs> yep. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the results of the contest mm. um here is the 2011 marbled um came in first place with 503 just squeaked past Mighty second Jello. place we did play that i i, I do recall that yeah, name I can't remember yes absolutely. what it was about absolutely. uh rocks blocks wow. um star road crc 32 that's that sounds like a could be a game. Sounds like a, a utility. Sheriff's Job, Bit 1600 Pixel Paint, Paint and a PDP-8 emulator. Lots nice. of uh, utilities. The utilities year. in there. Yeah. I like I like the narrow margin that marbled one over Mighty Jilloff. Like that was a close. Oh. That yeah. was a close race in the end there. Points. Oh wow, thirteen. Very close. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure um, we did play Mighty Jilloff, but I can't remember. Mm. Oh, was that BDSM jumping game? Okay. <laughs> oh, I. Barely remember it. Yeah, we yeah. played it not too long ago. Okay, so let's switch over and uh, boot this up. Hopefully the color will stay steady. Okay, we've gone into screen saver mode. All right. Load up marbled. Hopefully this won't affect. Screen saver mode. So far it's staying with the color. Okay, we you're waiting have... for it to turn yellow? It's That's still take, keeping the background blue. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to reboot. What? Oh, the background? Because it's not expecting, like it didn't do a reset, a forced reset. I think it should work now. There we go. Oh, the colors were... Yeah, okay. it's supposed to be black, not a... Oh, that's unusual. Like that. Yes. Because <laughs> if you don't program it into the game to set something, it won't set it. It'll just stay like that. So somebody on uh, the, the team that uh, Pseudographics can blame. <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, so you can switch things. Now on this level, switch you can it. you can see that the arrow is pointing the wrong direction. Oh. So you have to switch the arrows. There you go. And, and then to move the ball. You click the ball? Nope. Okay. You hold down the button. Okay. And then you move the direction you ball, want the ball to go. No, just hold down the button anywhere. Just hold down the button. Hold down the button and move the ball. What? There. Yeah. Uh, the objective of the game is to get the marble to the exit tile by exchanging various tiles in order to create a path. Why is this? You have hold to down the button. Hold. Now move down. Then move to the right. Hold it. Yeah, you have to hold it a bit. No. Nope. I'm holding the button the whole time. Oh. You can see me physically putting force on this, right? Yeah. Yeah. It does take a bit to move. So you have to hold it a bit longer. So I'm, I have to hold the joystick. It's yeah, I have to hold down the button the whole time you want to move, and then move the, okay. hold the joystick, and it'll it takes a, like a half a second to move. I'm sure that's programmed in so that you don't accidentally move. Yeah. Uh, during a level, the marble has to collect all the diamonds by jumping on the tiles with diamonds. The tiles are divided into two groups. The green group contains unmovable uh, tiles. You cannot swap them. So you can see the diamond is on a green tile, so you can't swap that. Okay. And uh, so you've discovered the arrows, which automatically force your ball to move to whatever direction it's pointing. Okay. So this is the stone tile. Let me read about this. Uh, this is the only tile that can be stepped on twice. Mm. It changes to a darker form after uh, after leaving the tile for the first time. Um, it doesn't give the full information about that, but it'll kind of crack a bit. Okay. And then the second time you go on it, that's when it um, it dis destroys itself. Um, no, this is an NTSC. Um, I believe... Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's the next game. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if this is PAL only. Um, Pseudographics will have to answer that one. Ivory Tower Collections. The next game is PAL and NTSC. 
There is a bit of a trick to this uh, yeah, one. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just... Uh... Yeah, great music and great graphics in this one. Great use of colors. I think uh, Pseudo Graphics is the one to thank for the great looking in-game graphics, yes. Um, I can't move that. No, I cannot. <laughs> no, that's actually the end tile that you yeah, need to get to. I know, I was hoping I could move that. Unmovable start and end tile. And the skull ones are movable skull tile. This tile cannot be stepped on. If you try and step on it, your marble will be destroyed and the level restarts. So you can't move those because those are green. I can't move. I can't move these. No. Oh. There's a bit of a trick to this, and can I. Can you it, move? You can move those. Okay, you can. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. We're playing on a PAL machine, um, so. Forty-eight mm. K Ram says I need to check this one out. I love me a good puzzle game. Yeah, this one is a good one. I think you'll figure it out once you start moving. Can't move it? No? Uh, you can't move it to an empty space. I think you can only swap tiles. Mm. Uh, movable direction tile. We saw that in the other level. When a marble steps on it, immediately bounces into a respective direction. Note that jumping to an empty space means immediate death. Level starts over. Yeah, it took me a long time. I'm going to give you a hint on this no, one. No, no, I need to think about it. Don't, don't. I. Okay. Uh... I would suggest thinking. starting to move towards one of those diamonds. Oh, Pseudographic says it seems to work on NTSC, but it's a little glitchy, so there might be some... It takes too long to draw the screen. I think that's usually what happens on the NTSC. Uh, Vitoko, yes, you don't have to go through all the tiles. That is a hint. Yeah. But you need to get both of the diamonds, so... That is correct, yeah. Oh, there's some coin tiles. One, two. They can be collected optionally. Uh, movable key tile unlocks the unmovable lock. So there's some keys and locks later on. Bomb tile. When you step on this tile, the objects in the neighboring tiles next to it, the same row can be destroyed. Useful for eliminating skulls. Teleport tile. We've already seen that one. They always come in pairs. When you step on the teleport tile, your marble will appear on the other teleport tile. So I'm guessing there's only two teleport tiles in a game. Otherwise, it would be confusing where it's going to go. Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. Well, I can just start going. But... Yes, I suggest you do that. I have to hold it a bit longer. So you can see you've been on those and it broke once. Yeah. Now if you step on it again, it will completely break. Okay. I think you've got the right idea here. There you go. Because you have to get back again. It's weird, yeah. It's it's not a. Uh... It's not immediate. It takes a little bit to move. There Hooray! Yay! In addition, uh, the scoring. In addition to collecting uh, the collected diamonds and or coins, you get a hundred points for each jump your marble makes. Each swap of tiles subtracts thirty points from your total score. So you want to do as ma as few swaps as you can. Yeah. So you don't have to be on the marble to move the marble. That's the instructions. So you can move it from anywhere. So requirements, 8-bit uh, computer, Atari 8-bit computer. This is needs 64K of RAM. Um, the game is a conversion of a PC game, Marbles Deluxe, made by RL Vision in 2001, which is actually a conversion of an old Amiga game, Marbles, released in 1991. I think that one's easier than the last one in terms well, yeah, of puzzles. Well, yeah, it's more about trying to figure out the, s the smallest number of flips, right? Yes. Yeah. How are you doing, bad cat? Uh, development time started March 2011 with some interruptions. The game was finished just on the day of the ABBU contest deadline. There's 92 levels in the game. 
on level five. Mm. The game features a unique password system that includes the player's score so that you can start where you left off, even if you have turned off your computer in the meantime. Ooh, that's good. So it really starts where you left off, not just like the level, but your score as well. Mm. Very, very good. Cat check, yeah, two cats. Oh, 48K RAM gave you 48 bits. That's it. Good game. <laughs> so the graphic says you can only swap tiles with the blue purple background. Yeah, not, not the, green the green ones. One. Yeah. So that actually makes it kind of easier because, oh, I think I know what you have to do here. Oh. I don't think you have any choice but to swap. Well, maybe not. You know, you can swap again after. Like it's not a s set and then you start moving. Yeah, you can start moving I know, and I know what you're swap saying. Around. I know what you're saying. So before the show, Rod Kessler uh, posted some trivia about the Atari computers. Uh, Atari was indeed popular in the Czech Republic. During the 1980s, the most popular video game platforms in the country were the ZX Spectrum, the Czechoslovak computer PMD-85. Haven't heard of that one. Uh, Atari 8-bit computers, mainly the Atari 800 XE. So it's safe to say that Atari had a significant presence in the Czech Republic early video game oh, scene. Marbled was developed in the Czech Republic, he said. Hmm. Okay, I'm doing Maybe the next one. You just do it, and then go up, and then down, and back. How, how do I go back? Because they disappear once you jump on them. Well, that takes two jumps. That so does. So you go across and then back. Oh, do the green ones disappear? I don't think so. I think they do. They well, do you can disappear. try it out. I can reset this, the, the level. I think they stay. Let me just check again. It doesn't say they disappear. Well, you have a clear path to do it. Okay, let's move it. Oh, no, now you can't get back. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I have to flip it with the... I think you were fine the way it was, because you just moved back and down, because you can go over that broken one twice. This one? Yeah. Do disappear. That's what I mean. That's what I was saying. See? Mm. Well, that's fine. Now you can uh, swap the skull with the empty purple one. And then I'm screwed. And then swap it back after. Uh, and then I'm screwed. No. The purple? The purple with the skull. The empty purple with the skull. Yeah. And now move down. And, and then over. it disappears. And then I'm screwed. No. And disappears. And what oh, am I swapping they all it disappear. with? Oh. See? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Reset. Oh, uh, My turn. No, no. <laughs> um. Yeah. People are reminded, are reminded of Choo Choo Rocket. In Choo Choo Rocket, you set up all the stuff, and then it free runs, and you can't interfere once you've started the choos. Also, you've only really played CCR when you've played it on the Atari ST. Can you swap it if the ball is on a tile? Ooh. Mm, I don't think so. I doubt it, but... Pseudographic. Oh, Pseudographic says no. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Or it could be this way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So, do, do, do. Oh no, that's once. Yes, I think. Then you can swap the skull and that. And after. then swap it after. back. Well, it doesn't really matter. I can do that now. Uh, and then swap it back. Yes, I think so. Okay. Oh, there. Yeah, okay. so. Yeah. It would be here. Move. And then 
swap and when you're done. Yay! You don't have to be on the ball. You can move from anywhere. Okay. My turn. Hey, your turn. This will work. This will work. Oh yes. my god. Ha ha ha. Oh, That's a lot of skull skulls. Okay, well, I don't have to collect anything. You just need the shortest path with those arrows, because all you have are those arrows. The shortest seems to be the left, so I need to go up. That needs to point to the left. I need some ups, and then a right. They all seem to be here. So Up, up, up. So how many ups? One, two, and then you need a left, left at the top. I would work it backwards. Um, that needs to go there. Yeah, and then you need a left... Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, there's no rights. So you're gonna have to go the other way. Um, oh, all right, I'll, I'll just take the take the loss. Yeah, that's fine. That needs to go there. Then you need one. So you have up, up. Uh, yeah. Uh, over, up, over, up. Yeah. There you go. And yeah? away it goes. Yeah, buddy? There's your choo-choo. All <laughs> skulls all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so some of these are already broken. Pre-cracked. The middle ones are not. So, if I go over, up, over, up, over, that, down. Down, over, down, over. Can't get back. Okay. I think I need to work from left to right then, not around. Mm. Uh, How many hits do those take? One or two? That takes one, that takes two. Okay. Some of them are half cracked. Uh, just going around the board kind of kills you. Think. Are you sure that's not two and three? I don't know. I need to move Those to the corners. That and that. Yeah. I think you might be right. And or maybe. Because I want to do. And I think I want to do that and that. So you go. And then I can do the pattern. Oh no, maybe not. See, it's two. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, left. Yeah. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you're good. <laughs> yep. No. No, yep, no, because yep, no. I keep the. Yep. the... No. <laughs> no. Oh. Yep. No. 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 <laughs> no. I'm like the green ones. I keep thinking the green ones uh, aren't there. Need to upgrade your connection, ITC. Mm -hmm. Or kick off all those relatives. Yep. Kick off all those relatives. Go. Oh, oops. I guess the internet's bad. Just ban their oh, IPs. Yeah. Um, so we've got. A time war a warp there, mm -hmm. which is gonna be the last move. Um I've got arrows you need to got arrows. That can push me over. I think I need to come back. Do I wanna just get up there and then move everything? Okay. Oh, I think I know how to do it. I'm going to move that to there. And that to there. That's exactly what I was thinking. And then just that to... No. There. You're going to have to adjust your, your arrows. What's going on? Oh, there we go. And then move that to that top. Oh, that to there. And I'm good. That's how it's done. Hi, Atari. Level nine. Okay. So we gotta get to there. Gotta get up there. We can go over there. Go there. Mm. So that either needs an... Then there's a skull. We can put the skull there. 
and it won't interfere. Let's just do that right now. So we can get around that. And down. The down can be at the top corner there. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, but you need to... Down can be there. You need to hit the... Uh, that can't be there. Oh, it's... it's but what that is going on? So you need to hit those diamonds. There. So... Yeah, that works too. Um, that's going up. That's not so... I can switch that one. Yeah. And I think it's good. Yep. Yeah. Yay! There we go! You need something like a DDWRT so you can throttle the bandwidth. That's what I've installed in my router. Mm -hmm. DDWRT. Just ban them, slow them down to the slowest, get their IP addresses or MAC addresses. MAC address is better, just in case they get a new IP. <laughs> uh, okay. So there's some warps. There's where we need to be. So we need to move the warp over to there. We have a diamond that we need to get. Um, we can put the warp there. And then over, up, up. So we can put the up over here and it'll be fine. And we need to because we need to get away from that one eventually. So let's put that one there. There's let's a put, lot of options on this let's one. Put the warp there. You get the most points for clearing the most tiles, right? So you really don't Ooh, want to so. leave tiles behind if you can't. Like I'm just pointing yes. that out. I think that's the case. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is. I think I might have to swap it after. Yeah, I'll swap the this with that after, and then I'm good. I go for levels, not points. So. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I sure there is a way to do it. And to get do it a all. little bit yeah. better. I, I don't doubt it. Old routers can do the bandwidth, but they don't have enough RAM. It's the number of different packets to different devices that can trip it up. Also, mm. sometimes a simple power cycle will clear out the cruft. That's true. Yeah, you could do that. My router doesn't allow DWRT. I usually try and buy routers that allow DWRT to make sure. But uh, I think it's... Do I get to that? Nope. Okay, it's your turn. As long as you don't take too long. You gotta be I, fast I, like I, me. No, you're not fast. Fa I went through all those <laughs> levels quicker than you did that uh, one no, level. No, because I like to think. I so know you do. Uh, so we want to clear as many as possible, eh? Hmm. Always talk about routers. <laughs> Black <laughs> Friday to the rescue. Seriously, your relatives are probably watching. Is it cake in 4K? <laughs> <laughs> Is it cake? No, it's not Kay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real cat. Oh, no. They would never do that. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Black Friday. Um, it's It's gone from in-store Black Friday to Black Friday Cyber Monday to Black Friday week to Black Friday two weeks. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to be like Black Friday month soon. Because every store wants to be the first store to have their sales so that everybody spends their money on that first store. Um, so they just keep pushing it and pushing it, just like decorations for holidays. It's like Christmas decorations before Halloween? What is happening? It's out of control. It's out of control. But saying that, <laughs> is anybody uh, going to be taking advantage of Black Friday to get any tech? Some new tech? They are streaming 4K content. I do know that. Mm. List your favorite Black Friday deal so far. Mine was 40% of filament at Bamboo Labs. Don't know what that is. I don't know what Bamboo Labs is. Filament. Yeah, maybe. 40% off. Um, I usually take advantage of Crick's sales on his multi-carts every year. Um, so that's happening tomorrow. If anybody wants multi carts for Nintendo systems, Turbo Graphic systems, uh, Genesis systems, or Sega systems, 
Um, I think he doesn't do any Atari stuff. But this year I'm going to pick up the N64 multi-cart because I just bought two N64s accidentally. Not accidentally. I bought them both on purpose. But the first one was broken cosmetically. Um, and I got a refund for that, but got to keep it. It's crazy. I didn't know eBay did that. Mm -hmm. And then I bought another N64 because I thought I would have to return it. Um, yeah, accidentally bought two N64s. <laughs> Ow, oh, Sharp Cat. So I need to get a multi-cart because the only game I have is Mario Party, which is not the worst game. I just wanted to buy it. I bought that at PRG to make sure that I had a game to try it out on to make sure it worked. Hey, Crunchy the Clown. Uh, yes, this is a great puzzle game. Uh, I think I misspoke. This is not really an action game. Next one's an action. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't call this, yeah. Yeah. We'll finish it up at a level 12 on this one. So we do this one and then um, I'll do the next one. Yeah, I'm all over the place here. I'm like, <laughs> there are too many options sometimes. Oh, Kev, you've got some GameCube games for me. Awesome. That's great. Thank you so much for whenever. Next time. Next time. Uh, next time you're here. Next time I see you. Looks like the sale on Crix is already on. Ooh, yeah. 7 p.m. here. Yeah, it would already be the 22nd. Oh. While she's doing this. <laughs> uh, let's just take a look at the Crix website. Crix.com. Black Friday, 20% off. Oh, it, it goes till the 30th. It's, I thought it was just for one day. But it is not. So that's a good, uh, good stuff. Crunchy the Clown. Hey guys, I bought my first Atari Lynx. Came with six games. Oh, what, uh, what six games did you get with it? Muhammad uh, Jiria said, we'll be tempted for either the EverDrive on my N64, Pro for the TurboGrafx-16, or Genesis. Yeah, I, I think the N64 and the Game Boy are the only ones I'm missing now, so I'm going to get those as we broadcast. Because I don't think he ever sells out of them, but I am just a little frightened. I'm sure it gets more and more popular every year. Oh, finished? No, I mean, I didn't solve it because I left stuff behind. So. Oh, wow. You can do this one too. Uh, hmm. <laughs> bomb. I assume the bomb is bad? Uh, nope, bomb's good. It clears out skulls. So you want to get it on the same row as the skull and destroy the skull hmm. by landing on it. There we go. So I'm going to get the EverDrive 64 X5 because I don't need the X7 stuff. And the EverDrive GBA Mini. EverDrive GBA Mini. There we go. Ooh, what should I get? Transparent Clear? Ooh, that one's nice. Graphite? Nope. Or the red one. No, it's going for the clear one. Add that to the cart. Continue shopping. Uh, and go back. EverDrive. N64. EverDrive 64. Hmm. X5. There's only one option. Add to cart. Check out. Would also consider the GB8 times seven and oh gb times seven gba yeah do i have a, yeah i do have a gb times seven i'm pretty sure sign in so i do have a sign in Can you step them through what you're thinking no no <laughs> it's not too hard. out loud it's too hard I don't know. <laughs> don't know? Check out. Silver Talon, Hard Driven, Ninja Gaiden, Rampage, Gates of Zendokan. I haven't heard of that one. 
Haven't heard of Silver Talon either. Blue Lightning, that's a shooter. Rampage, obvious. Ninja Gaiden, that's awesome. Uh, good ones. No. Uh... <laughs> so it looks looks like it's ramped up the difficulty a bit more. Hmm. I think I've got everything filled in here. Yes, I'm 18 years or older. I think. So the bomb has to be next to the skull? It said it had to be on the same line. Uh, um, let's see. Neighboring tiles next to it in the same row. It doesn't say column, but it says same row. So it'd have to be... Um, but neighboring? That's impossible. No, oh, no, it's not impossible. You can do it up in the top there. That's the only spot. If, if this is to be exactly believed. So there's only two purple ones up there. So you have to place uh, the bomb and the skull in one of the two um, places on the second row. Gates of Zendikon was a launch title scrolling shooter. I think Trevor McFur, but fun. <laughs> I dare say the Lynx is slightly better looking screen than the Game Gear. Oh, did you buy a... Um, just the links by itself, like just unmodified? Or did you get the upgraded screen? The new upgraded screen. Purchased. Thinking too okay. hard. Thinking too hard. That's taken care of. Playing along, Vitoko. Oh, just tried below and it did nothing. So it is true that um, it has to be beside. Next to? Next to. Oh, okay. And you left to land on the bomb, like right next to. So the only spot is on the second row. Right, so that's the only two, two purples um, beside each other. And I can understand the Model 1 links being way too big for a child's hand. Oh, do you have the... Oh, Model 1. Okay, cool. I've been using the N8 Pro and the FX Pack Pro for a while. The latter currently fired up for the first time being. Look too bad. Flipped. So go from the top. So I wonder if you destroy the skull, does it leave an empty spot? <sighs> or does it kill the tile? Because that's not going to work. Uh, it will leave the tile. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now well, I'm just going to go. I, I think I know da, how to do da, it. Da. Baby cat! I did it by placing the bomb at the side of the skull. That's what I thought. Nope. You can still swap the skull with one of those tiles to get it. Oh, okay.
and you should be fine. And then you just swap uh, the other. No, I'm not. Then you just swap the other tile with the arrow, and oh, then you true. go all the, to all the way to the yeah, top. Yeah, but so. that wasn't what I was trying to do, so that's okay. Oh, like this. There we go. Sorry that took a long time. Uh, I was genuinely trying to get them all. <laughs> oh, But the bomb them landing on the bomb didn't destroy the... Uh... No, I said it has to be beside. But it was below. No, it has to be beside. Same row. Oh, Directly I didn't beside. Hear, you, hear you say oh, that. Okay. I would have changed it. So it has to be same row, yeah. not same column. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, Vitoko confirmed it. In the chat. It has to be the beside same it. row, not the same, not, not in the, the column. column. Okay. Because okay. you said beside, beside means in any and, direction. Yeah, I, I uh, clarified. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to the next game, which is Ridiculous Reality. So let's reset this and take a look at where this game came from, because it's also a port. Um, so this was made by uh, Martin uh, Simacek, uh, did programming, Matt Usimi. Uh Adam Vahovsky did the graphics and game design. Yes. Thank you for subscribing, Yay! Atari 800 XL. Um, and Adam uh, Pavroznik uh, did the title screen and ending graphics. Excellent. So this was uh, released in 2012. And... It is a port of a Flash game. So let's just take a look at where this one comes from. It's the toilet. No, no, I just thought it was coming from the computer, so that's okay. I was listening. It does sound like a whisper, doesn't it? Well, I thought there was a noise, like there was like a muffled voice or something. Oh, I was really? like, oh. But it's the cats. It's the cats, yeah. Chatting in the background. Talking to each other. Are you whispering? So this comes from a game called Continuity. Um, is a sliding tile pl puzzle platformer. It was awarded Best Student Game at IGF 2010 and Gameplay Innovation Award at Indiecade 2010. Uh, and then they published no, they Continuity 2 treats. in 2011. Yeah, that's what they're whispering. Yeah. Cats need treats. Yeah, treats, please. Treats. treats, please. We would like some treats. Um, so it's a platformer it's plus a sliding yum, puzzle. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, oh, what's that? I think they heard you whispering. Oh, Atari, Atari uh, eight hundred XL rules. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. These kitties I'll are happy. Swap the uh, cartridge level. We have enough. No, I think we have enough. Oh, there's another one I put up. There. I saw that. Yes, but I think for now we're good. Okay, kitties. Wrong cartridge label. I swapped over. Oh, good. Okay, kitties. Yes, it's that time. Are you excited? It's gambling time. It's gambling <laughs> for cats. Atari okay. is looking sharp today. He is on it. Oh, I can tell. Do you want to shut the door? He's while got he's a little distracted. bright light in his eyes. Okay. Since when have we given them to you outside during the stream? Never, but it might be this time. <laughs> it could be. He's, he's okay, let's concerned. start the betting. Mm -hmm. If you've never done this before, uh, it is at the top of your chat. It says predict, yes. and you pick a cat who you think will get the most treats in the amount of time given. Yeah. And you pick how many? Um, First cat to channel ten. points. You want to bet on them? Yeah. Uh, Sprite is the favorite. Atari's the under cat. Under cat. <laughs> um, so, and Gamma Dev says Atari's looking very sharp today. He, he got is? nine points out of ten compared oh. to ten last last so, time. Oh no! Not oh yet, look how buddy. not. Oh. oh, he is. He's he raring is ready. to go. He's trying to hit them on the couch, so, so that's a good sign. There you go. Let's switch yeah. over. The cat cam. Look at the predict with channel points. It's it's fairly e even on points there. Three, yeah, even on points, but three for Atari and seven for Sprite. Ooh, a lot on Sprite, eh? A lot mm. of people betting on Sprite. 
but not a lot of people, uh, but about even for the points, which is yes. interesting. If people are be betting big on Atari then. That's yeah. what that means. Oh, Atari 800 XL rules has a good feeling about Atari okay. tonight. Okay, Atari, you've got oh, some dance is 150 on Atari. Yes. And I bet Atari 800 XL rules is betting at 800. Because mm. <laughs> that's what I think he always does. Hi, are you ready? We've got about 45 yeah. seconds left to bet on the cats. All right, cats. Oh, are you primed? Are you ready for the for the showdown? Rubber feet always come out of this. Oh, that's what it is. I can wrap this one up. This one's done for a while. Well, until Thursday. This game is quite addictive. You may want to finish it in one go. That's why I put it last. Yeah, mm. but it is also quite challenging later on. Mm. Ah. Interesting. Okay, we got about ten seconds left. Are you guys ready? If are everybody's you guys ready, ready. Are you? Ready? you? Oh, you 77 ready? on Sprite. Oh, oh, Sprite is the clear favorite. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Get on your side. Get on you your over side. There. You over there. Get ready to go. Oh, oh. first one. Oh, oh second we're both. one. Both. One, one. One, So Atari is raring to go. No, Eat he's it. not eating Eat very it. fast. He's Eat chewing it. it up. Oh, Sprite is 2-1. He's catching it in the air. What's going on? Get it, Atari. Get Hit it. the bell. Come on, get Hit back the bell. to the bell. There we go. Two, two, tied up. Uh, Sprite's Harder. having some trouble. Oh, there we go. Sprite does not need any encouragement. All right. Hit the bell. <laughs> there, there we go. go. It's all tied up Good. again. Sprite's going for the wrong bell. Oh, and he missed. Oh, oh. And he's got his own bell. He's attacking my foot. Yeah. Oh. Who's next? I don't think Sprite uh, Harder. Chews. There you go. All tied up again. Oh, Sprite pulls ahead. I don't think Sprite chews. I think like, he just, he just swallows it whole. There Good. we go. Oh, Atari's oh, Atari. on it. He neck might. and neck. Yeah. If uh, if Atari keeps up, he'll he'll be catching up. Oh, Sprite. Hit the bell. Oh, oh, oh Atari's oh, catching no, up. Oh no, he got it. Oh, he got two. Okay. Who did? Sprite. <gasps> he did, and he's he's already done eating. He's them? already done eating them. Oh my God. Who's wow. next? Who's next? Oh, oh. come on. Uh, Who was that? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, they both got it. Well, there you go. Oh my goodness! It's tied up. It's very Come even on. now. Harder. Hit the bell. Harder. Harder. There we go. And Atari has pulled ahead. Woo. It is eight seven now. Eight seven for Hit Atari. The bell. Don't instruct him. He doesn't need any encouragement. Oh. oh. Sprite has got eight. Atari. Hit the bell. He oh, needs harder. 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 Hit the bell. There, we, there go. we go. It is now game point for Atari. He's pulling his treat away. Oh. Sprite is very distracted. Oh, yeah. this is it. This is it. Here it comes. He's reaching out. Oh, He's done it. Oh, and Atari. Atari wins. Winner, winner. Chicken. They are chicken, actually. Dinner treats. <laughs> yes. Wow. Atari does it. Oh. It's the first time in a long time. Wow. <laughs> Crunchy the clown. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> good wow, kitties. it's been weeks, weeks. Good kitties. kitties. Okay. I bet on Sprite, but I'm happy for Atari. Oh. Yes, every once in a while. Good kitties. Atari pulls it in for the win. I was hoping he would get it on his uh, birthday. <laughs> yeah, back, he, didn't, he didn't. That's okay. Good job, Atari. He's out it. the door. He's like, I'm done. Vegas, I got. I won. I I'm finished. Oh, he's <laughs> done. Atari 800. So, we were here. <laughs> we were here. Yeah. We were here live. Yes. Okay. Oh, VVG. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's Kev one. Oh, good oh, job. Good it's job, Kev. Kev. Wow. wow. And Kev bet. What did Kev bet? Seven and a half. Or no, sorry. 2,600. Oh, wow. Oh, good number. Yeah. Very lucky number. Very nice. Wow, it was 26,000 26, points. 26,000 points. To, uh, it's Kevin, five others. So there you go. Wow, that's a big it's a win. It's Thanksgiving miracle. <laughs> How many did you win, Kev? How many did you win? That must have been a big payoff, Kev. It's kind of hard for me to tell. Yeah. It doesn't tell me how much he won. No, no, it just he was the top one. So I mean, I could calculate it out. Oh, you don't need over to. Over 11,000. I won enough to make up for last time. There you go. That's, awesome. That's what you want. You want the, the pendulum to swing back and forth. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, uh, good job. Enough for two good treat job. rounds. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, my okay. goodness.
Okay, so yeah. let's go back and take a look at this game. Oh, Vitoko, I won three, four, five, six. Nice what? number. <laughs> That's pretty wow. awesome. Crazy. Oh, 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 I'm liking this. Okay, so in this game, you get the key. Okay. And then you open the door. Okay. That's, That's it. it. Simple. And then and then you move around tiles like those old um, games where yeah. you slide okay. tiles around. Oh, this okay. This there's four, so you can slide up, down, left, right. Oh, so there's a game in the tile. Game in the tiles, and then there's also a platformer that you play. Oh. And you have to connect. Hi. You have to connect the pieces so yes. that you, you can, can go scroll from, tile from to tile. one side to the other. Yeah. Cute. And dead. And you can die. Gotcha. <laughs> Go gotcha. Gotcha, I should say. Gotcha. Gotcha. So there he can fall now. But you need to get to that door. Is that the idea? Yes. Okay. So this person is... Oh, I on. understand. Okay, I get it. Hi. Yep. You lost. <laughs> you lost. He's yeah. like, I don't understand. I didn't get as many He's treats. He's like, look at him. He's like, um, oh, um, I'm owed two treats. I usually get ten. Look I've, at him. I've been counting. Yeah, oh, listen to him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, oh the sense kittens. of entitlement, huh? So this won first place oh, uh, 11 years ago. Uh, ridiculous reality by, you know, a little bit bigger margin. About 423 oh. to 387 over Callisto. I don't think we played any of those games. I will have to catch up and dive into the archives. Sure, rub it in on Sprite. Oh, shame no. box. <laughs> No uh, is it published by Devolver? Um, ooh, I don't have that information. Honestly, they're cats. They might enjoy the shame box. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's, yeah, we could bring a box here. <laughs> yeah, Sprite would. They dive probably right go in willingly, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so let's load it up. All right. Uh, okay, go for it. Not marbled. Um, uh, oh, not marbled. Is it left and button? Left and button. Okay. Ridiculous reality. Ridiculous reality. There you go. Ridiculous nice. Reality. Look at that. Great title screen. Yeah. Wait, or... The graphics in the yeah. fake, fake game there yeah. are, are it's not as good as that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the uh, developers. Developers. Good job. Good job. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you press the bu uh, button to switch over to the puzzle. And you can go up, down, left, right to move them around, which you will have to do. There like you go. this? Yep, yeah, and then let go of the button. Gotcha. And now it's a platformer, and up, up to jump. Is that a. Okay. It's back. Ah! No, up to jump. Up to jump, okay. That is helpful. Cute! Oh, very, very not very cute. good at jumping, but yes, cute! And there's the key that'll open the door. And you, you touch the key. Changes colors, so it's all good. Okay. It doesn't, doesn't... disappear. <sighs> so let's read a little bit about this. Ridiculous Reality is a puzzle platform game. The goal of the game is to complete all the levels where a hero must gather all the keys. After all the keys are collected, the exit door will open and the hero can go through to the next level. Each level consists uh, separate rooms arranged in a matrix. Their arrangement can be changed after switching into map mode. In this matrix, oh my goodness, I'm having trouble with the platform well, side of things. It's the it's the jump, the up to jump. <laughs> I'm trying to do a diagonal. I can um, switch over the joystick if you want. Well, so it's a button to jump. <laughs> it's not going to help me. Okay. Uh, uh, the arrangement can be switched, uh, changed after switching into map mode. In this matrix map mode, the player... Kitten! What are you doing? <laughs> Back half. Oh, gosh. Uh, using one empty space with no room. It means the configuration of all rooms can be set in many different ways. It's not the... Oh, come on! It's the diagonal. Maybe you should read. It's the diagonal. Uh, the hero is moving in a non-standard room view mode. The movement between two adjacent rooms is possible only when there is continuity between them, meaning their adjacent borders must be the same. Corridors and walls must match each other. When there is no exact match, the package passage is blocked. The game consists of three different phases, each with unique graphics and various music tracks. 
difficulty rises in each level as well as the number of rooms. There are three types of rooms. 2x2, two 3x2, two, three two, and 3x3. Three three. How uh, do I get up here? You go near the ledge, press up and over. Oh, there you there go. go. Oh, you can move in the air. Oh, that makes life easier. Okay. After completing every level, except for the last one, there is presented a code for skipping this level. To use the code during that level, one has to hold shift and enter a sequence of function keys in a given order. Some of the keys will have to be pressed and released several times. For example, a sequence shift plus start option start select start means one has to press the shift oh, key. Well, then hold it. Oh my god. Wow. That's, uh, that's an interesting way to skip the levels. Rules. All rooms Yay. can be moved. Yay! All keys must be collected to open the door. So it could something? be multiple keys. Shift option? No. Uh, we'll press button. I think that's just... If, if you want to go back? If you want to skip this level, mm. I think. Uh, when a key is collected, it becomes inactive, which is denoted by a sound and a color change. The location of the active not yet collected keys in the door is marked on the map view. So you can see the keys are flashing. So you have to get one, two, three, four, five keys to this level. And it changes color there. And you can see it change color on the map too. Um, moving between rooms is possible only when continuity is preserved. Hero dies when falling off from one room to an empty space to another incompatible room. Death brings the hero back to the place where he collected the last key. Or the starting point of the level. Okay. If no key was collected yet. Game has a flow style, meaning you cannot go back to the main menu or play previous levels. After all, it is continuity. And we've got the uh, controls under control, I think. This is a 64K uh, game. PAL or NTSC. Uh, although in the NTSC version, the game in-game Ridiculous Reality logo had to be simplified. So the thing at the top had to be simplified because I guess it just takes up too much realist uh, vertical real estate. The game was inspired by the continuity game created by Elias Homelid, Dimitri Curtineau, Guy Lima Jr., and Stefan Mikkelsen. And we'll swap up every second level. After this one. Um, so Ars Technica did an interview with them in uh, January 2010, or at least in 2010, with the original developers of the game, of the Flash game. And they said, the idea came up during one of our idea generating meetings, said Stefan Mekelsen, one fourth of the team. Nobody really took notice of the idea at first, but then a guy made a paper prototype of the idea a week later and proved that this really was an interesting idea with a lot of depth. It didn't take much time, but being able to play a rough version of the game that used a coin as a character helped convey the idea much better than just words. And Mickelson says that working with a small team helped focus them on what really counts, gameplay. Now, I've definitely never seen a game like this before, where it's a sliding puzzle and a platformer. Okay, that took a, probably more moves than I needed to, but... So if you can read off that paragraph... Are you going to play paragraph, next one? Yeah, okay. we're going to switch off. So where were you? Where did you end up? You can read off that paragraph. Just the total from the top? Yeah, the whole paragraph there. Okay. Probably the most important thing we learned is the potential usefulness of limitations, he told ours. Having a limited schedule and no artist really forced us to concentrate on the game's core. I'm not sure if the game would have been as focused if we had more resources to create really lively visuals or add lots of extra gameplay features. The team is currently hard at work porting the game to the iPhone. A potentially dangerous combination for anyone who values their productivity. <laughs> very nice. This is very fun. Very, very, very fun. It's like one of those sliding puzzle square games. Yeah. Mixed with uh, uh, maze, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a maze game. Oh, this does not match. It doesn't matter. You can jump in there. No, you can't. They oh. have to exactly Oh, do match. they? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, you can I go can up to do the that left. one now. Up, up to the top, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or not. Oh, I can't. Yeah, you can. You can jump. Go back, jump up to the second level. 
Can't you? Oh. oh. It's too high. You have to go down? Interesting. Now that does That much. works. Okay. So they made it harder. Uh, go down if you shift them around. That does match. As long as I don't die. Die! There we go. There's one more key. Does look good, Dan. And it plays really uh, well. You do have to get that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Have to get one more key. Yeah, I would have. Uh... There's two more keys to get. Oh, two more keys. Um, if you Can't go. do that yet. That's okay. There is a way to go back to the. Oh. Circle it back. There. Now get in that that hallway, and then shift it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. To the right. To the right. No, I'm. There's no. To no, the right. go to the right. Go to the right. No, no, no. Go to. The shift the bottom oh. one to the right. There. Oh, that move one. the tile yeah. to the right. Okay. Oh, shift, shift it to the right. And the pit. Pit of despair. Oh, I can jump that high. It's it's deceiving because those. Yeah, it is. The seams don't count. Yeah. Okay. Now I need one more. Can't do that. Um, yep. If you go to the right and into the upper area. Oh. And then shift it back. I can't go up there. Oh, no, you can't? Oh, no, you still can't. That's weird. <laughs> can't do that. Oh, there. You still can't still get up can't there. Still can't get up there. <laughs> What is going on? Are you sure you can't get up there? You can't get past that at all? Oh, that's crazy, you can't crouch. There's no crouch. I guess you have to go down. Yeah. You have to go... There's only one way to do that, isn't there? At least across there. And maybe cool. here. Now you can... <laughs> it just takes no this mm. Are you I think I messed up. Well no you Because the only Oh that's a path. Nope, that's that's takes me back here. So I have to go down, I think. No the only place to go down is into that hole. Is it? Oh, damn it. Maybe I do need to go in that hole and then shift something else. I don't think so. No? I think there's only one option there. Oh, there is only one option. What? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it was just not in the... I have to be on the, the other side of it. There you go. That makes sense. Oh my god, it's hard already. Probably in level three. I, th oh, my god. I know, the jumping is a little awkward. No! Oh, that is mean! No! That means I have to go over here. And then go, shift it around and again. shift it. Then I'm fine there, I think. Yeah. And then shift it around to here. Yeah. Again. Not to fall off this time. <laughs> oh my god! You sure you can't jump back up there? It's just too high? I tried many, 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 uh, many, 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 many times. At least I know how to get out now. Just down, yeah, just take it very slowly. You can move in midair, and I think that's the thing. There you go. Okay. Ah, this is my escape. Okay. Now I need to get that up here. There we go. Oh, oh that's, that's the, the door. door. And then there's... Keep keep moving. There you go. There. Nope. It's not true. Really? But how else are you supposed to... Oh, you have to be down there. Oh! Go back. Okay, so let... No. No. Go put oh, it back to where it was. Put it back yeah, to where it was. I... Yeah. And I stand there. Yeah. And then move it. There we go. Okay. Hooray! Back. Mm, 
no. Oh, no, no I have to, need to be in move that. over. No, you need to be in there, and then... Yay! Yay! Oh my god, that was <laughs> way more complicated than I think I made it out to be. Okay. Or the other way around. Okay, your my turn. turn. Yep, we're switching off every time. Okay. Good luck. Oh, oh so many keys. Oh boy. Wow. What an amazing concept. I can see why this won um, in 2012's ABBUC and won other contests as the original Flash game. Uh, Chitlala says, this is a really creative game. I need to try it. I like puzzle games. It's going to get much more sophisticated, <laughs> Pseudographic says. Whew. That's amazing. I, and it's going to go to 3x3 three three tiles. <laughs> After a little bit. How many levels? I don't... Does it, did it say how many levels there were? Uh, wrong instructions. That's not going to help. Uh, let's see. Doesn't say how many levels there are. Hmm. No, no levels. So there was a contest version of this game, and then there was a uh, cartridge version, and then there was this final version that was put out, and I couldn't find out whether the cartridge version was the final version or the contest version. But this version, or the contest one, supported NTSC video systems. The ability to turn on and off in-game music in, in case it's too intense, which is pretty intense music, but it's very awesome. Um, codes for skipping actual level. Code gets display after winning a, a particular levels. We saw it on the screen after the level. Some levels have slightly modified design and some graphic glitches were fixed. They did not touch the functional part of the game. So there were graphical glitches in the contest version, but it didn't actually affect the gameplay and modified game ending. So there were 50 cartridge versions of this made uh, by uh, Jacob Husak. You got the cartridge, you got uh, a card with a number on it, one through 50, and you got 24 cards showing eight boards from three levels, seventh, eighth, and 16th. You can play online when your computer is missing at hand. So, you, so with the cartridge, they actually gave you printed out tiles of the game where you could play manually without a computer by going, okay, I can trace there, I'll get that one. Then I shift the tiles around. That's really interesting. So this technically could be played as a board game. Okay. This okay. game, which is brilliant. I mean, there's some little things where you're like, oh, like that part where I was jumping, you'd have to be like, well, we'll let them We'll let the person be able to go underneath because it's kind of hard to tell like oh can i jump that high when it's a board game how many do you have awesome. I don't know if I can. can i get up here uh, it looks like you can oh oh yeah yeah there you go you got one more to go wow. and it's in the upper area which is a little bit harder to get to so you kind of have to drop down to get was to I, that did I, up. How did I do it last so you have to get time? to one of those upper areas. Some, you'd have to drop down. Oh, I, I I got to one of them before. So. Oh, you want to drop down to that one, that top right, down that somehow. So you want to drop down the middle easier. first. Yeah. And then switch it over. Yeah, I know how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so the poll ended up, we never looked at it, uh, when do people normally game? In the evening, 41%. That's hard to read. I'm gonna look at it on the actual poll page. Ugh, why does it make it so dark? It's colored. Maybe because my... So in the evening, uh, then in second place, I don't get to game enough. 23%. Third place, 
Uh, whenever I can, 17%. Uh, third place, fourth place on the weekends, 11%. And in fifth place on days off on holidays, 5%. That's when people game. Yay! Oh, you did it? Yes! My turn. <laughs> Yep, I really like this game. It's... I really like it. Uh, this astounding. Is, oh, five. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now we're getting complicated. I like yep. it. This so is I, fun. So now you can really rearrange them. No? Okay, I need a high one. Yep. So there's one over there. There. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, let's do this. So we get a lot more sophisticated. Boop. Two, Boop. three. So now I'm gonna lower one. Can't, I can get one maybe there. Mm -hmm. The arrow is like, yeah, go down there. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Not yet. You're going the wrong way. Oh, uh, that doesn't help, so. I don't think there's any passages that connect to that. Uh, you can't go up, so can you? That is no. a one way okay. passage. So it is, like, accurate. Is that the door? Nope, that's a new uh, mm -hmm. key that I can get. Let's get that. Um, oh, let's get this one now. Yep. And then... Any more above? No, I have to drop down now. So let's... Go to the right. That. Um, nope, can't get, can't get that. Um. Nope. Can't get that one. Have to there. get it from that one. So you need to go. Oh, weird. Oh, how does that? Oh, how does that okay. Work? I get it. So I yeah. go to here. Then. Okay, yeah, yeah. Didn't see that. I didn't see that either until... So now I can drop down. So you just have uh, to make sure you hit those shelves. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh. oh. I did hit it. <laughs> oh, no. Just missed the other one. That's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll get it in the second pass. Uh, oh, where am I? There I am. So I might as well... I'm guessing you can't jump back up to that. Get that. Mm -hmm. And then I can do this drop passage. Down. Oh, no, I can't. No, uh, you have to drop down. To, oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can. Okay. So I'll get that one. Yeah. Then I just need to get that one more that I missed. Just kind of go. And that's like I can just drop down. Yeah. We'll wrap around here. I think as we're wrapping our heads around it, it gets a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So I need to get back up. To there. Right. And... You have to drop back down. Oh, did the wrong one then? Oh, no. Then I need to rearrange this. Then, then I need to oh. drop down to there and, and just, just straight, straight down. down. There you go. And then, then you just need to loop your way back. Loop around to the door. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> not falling too much. So I need to. F oh, don't fall in that. It's, Look at that it's, one. Uh, yeah. Does that fall through, or are you just stuck? I bet you're just stuck. So to there, and then down. Oh wait. No. Down and then across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you have to go and then stop there. Yeah. And then get that, get that guy behind down below. And then I have to take the stairs up. And then I can go to the exit. Yay! Is this the stairs? Yep. Yeah, once you wrap your head around how this works, then it's like, oh, okay, I get it. I'm sure it's going to get much more complicated. Your turn. Yay! 
Um, so do graphics, do you know how many levels there are in this? Oh. Oh. Ooh, lots of... Ooh, oh my god. Lots of death. Uh... One room has all the keys. Well, you can get to one right away. You kind of have to attack that one from all the angles. I'm going to try and look up how many... Uh, oh, we can't remember. I'm going to look up, try and look up how many levels there are in this game. Ridiculous reality. Um, so I didn't have that in my notes. Level. Level, level, level. No, no. Fourth level. The second world? Okay. Level, level, first level. it doesn't really say the level numbers, does it? Does it say the level numbers in between? I missed it. Oh, no. Maze level is the last one. That's what somebody said. Just finished. What? The maze level is the last one. You get a congratulations tune for a scrolling message and a nice picture. How long does it take to complete? Why is it saying that I'm dying there? Because I mean, oh, it, it doesn't open. match up perfectly. It has doesn't to match it? up absolute like everything has to match up perfectly. Openings with openings. It uh, looks like it matches up to me. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't. So you have to move it to the one with the door. But the that's one. very bizarre. So just try and move two over and see if that goes down. See if you die then. Sorry, what? Right, right. Right. There. Now try and drop down. See if you Yeah, die. but I don't... I know you don't want to do that. Because I want to get in the center of that one on the left. Well, Their only center channel is that one that I was trying to get into. I think so you maybe might, I have to go over. Yeah. I'd have to do that one first, then that. Because it does well, seem to matter. see what happens here. Levels are not numbered. Oh, is that why nobody says how many levels there are? Uh, after some training, this is what uh, Adam says, after some training, one can finish the game in less than three hours. Oh boy. Well, at least we can continue on after. So you didn't die. Okay. Good. Well, not in that one. But... So that means you can probably move that one that you wanted to go to over now. doesn't say yeah that one worked very odd it is odd it looks like it matches it, it oh, seems like it matches to you me. know what there's openings see those little openings in the middle those probably don't match that's the difference everything has to match that matches yeah, yeah. so you have to do two passes of that obviously one. Oh, oh no gosh. you might be able to jump over that uh, that gap you should be able to jump oh, over the gap I'm scared Yay. yeah No, I can't figure out... No, because they're not numbered. That would have been good if they numbered them. version that somebody posted. Interesting. Guess you can skip levels on that one. I'll have to download don't download that later. Oh, okay. 
three more keys, huh? Well, it looks like you can just uh, walk over to one now. Can you jump up to that ledge, or is that too high? I hope so. Oh, oh no, too high. really? A little yeah. too high. Okay. Oh, if you go to the right. No. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. It's on, the same, it's on the same screen. I was like, oh, go to the right and you can get that key if you put that one on the left, but you can't put the same screen than the left and the right. So we had um, Retro Gaming Night uh, that we usually hold every year, but we had to skip a couple of years because of something. Um, and this year's theme, it was the uh, 40th anniversary of the Famicom, release of the Famicom in Japan. So we celebrated Famicom NES, because it's, it's the same system. Um, so we played, uh, set up a whole bunch of Nintendo systems, mostly NES. And what I do every year is I have a a contest and we give away little prizes and we have little trophies and um, I pick three games that uh, for the people who want to play the games and try for the high score so you get five points for first place four points for second etc down to zero points in sixth place um, and at the end of the night we look at all the high scores on the three different games and add them all up and then the first first place goes to first place hey you got all the keys nope one more and they get a first place trophy and they get to pick from the wall of prizes mm -hmm. and we usually go to prge we have we hold the uh game night after prge so that we go to prge and find some little prizes little stuffies little trinkets and um so we had more than enough for everyone that that attends even if you don't play the games you you get to pick but you get to pick last if you don't play mm -hmm. the games um and kev was there and he played them um and he got a prize um so it's a it's a fun night for everyone and we even had um mario oreos those limited edition mario oreo cookies still some upstairs oh mm. yes yum they taste just like Oreos. <laughs> they just got like Mario characters stamped in them. Um, so we, I, I brought out all the Nintendo themed stuff, like my uh, Nintendo, Nintendo tabletop games, Nintendo Game and Watches, um, I had the GameCube, N64, Wii Out, NES, SNES. I had my twin Famicom on display. No need to fire that up. Um, I had multi-carts in the systems. Oh, Pseudographic says Oreos are too sweet. I love They're very sweet. Oreos. They are too sweet. Agreed. Too sweet, but too, so good. So good. Just have half an Oreo then. So you have to, trying get, to do it. You have to get up to a, confusing myself, a second level. Yes. Um, the only ones the one that match... Is that the only one that matches? Go on the left. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'd rather crunch sugar cubes. Wow. Someone has a hot take on Oreos. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, um, yes. Yeah, the filling is very sweet. I think that's so the sweet good. part of it. No, the whole thing, the whole is, thing? is like uber sweet. Yeah. Yeah, they are not normal <gasps> cookies. Yay. You did it! Door time! Yay! It took a little while. This one definitely is 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 it's a more little more uh, involved. Carrot cake Oreos are delicious. Is that like a f actual sold Oreo? I know in some show I watched, they're showing off all the Oreos, and there's like just endless Oreos, types of Oreos. Yeah, looks like they match. Oh, oh, can you hop up there? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Boing, boing. It's good there's an arrow. 
Yay! Yay, it's my Yay. turn! Carrot cake Oreos. L legit limited edition. Oh. Carrot cake. I, you know what I really like? I like the lemon ones. I am a big oh, fan of lemon. They're good. And the lemon Oreos, you see them from time to time. You can get the thin three ones. Three by three. They're yummy. Nice. Oh. What even oh, matches? This is going to take you a long time. Is it this one that matches? Oops. Is that does no. Does anything match? Oh, I don't think anything matches the bottom of this one. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No. There you I are. have to go to the left. The bottom? No. No, nothing matches. I think it's um I'm making it complicated. This there. one. It's the only that. one that matches. Um so I have to be on this side because yes. that's the only thing that matches that I can go. Then I need to go down. The upper one there. Upper? I mean, the one. upper right corner. You need to be lined up with the one in the upper right corner. No, that doesn't match. Doesn't it? It's this one. Um, bottom left. That, I'm really right now. that one. It's the only one that matches. Oh, where am I? You're on the far right. Oh. <laughs> Isn't the one above you? It doesn't line up. Uh, no, it looks, it looks, it looks too. That one doesn't line up. No. Not quite. No. It's the one, it's this. No, no. that one doesn't line up either. No. Uh, I'm going crazy. Let's see if it kills you. You don't lose anything. No. Uh, try the one above you. That one? No. Uh, you have to go back to the it's room you're only in. Only that one? Yeah. But then must and I can't go down because nothing matches that one. The down? Going down. What about the middle one? Nothing matches. Middle? No, no, it doesn't. There's no middle one. The, the bottom middle. middle. Um, no. There's like an opening on the right hand side and two on the left, three on the left. So I have to find it's another the, one the, that wait, goes no, left. Wait, no, 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 stop. The one in the middle top, that doesn't line up? This one lines up. No, no, go go to the left. To the left. To the left. That lines up. You can go down. You can go down. Oh! Oh, how did I not see that? Well, it's okay. very confusing. <laughs> yeah, so there's something to the right. Oops. Because uh, you were in that one before, maybe that's why. Oh, it yes, I was. It does make things a little bit confusing. Okay. Can't jump in there. Yeah, might want to make sure it's lined up. Ah. I don't care about that. Yes, yeah, true. It doesn't. Uh, that, that one lines up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, can't get out of there now. So now I need to find... I think it's... Where am I? You're I in the bottom left. Okay. The bottom middle, sorry. That one. No, that doesn't match. Uh oh, that one. I that see. one matches? No, the right hand side doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't have to match on both sides, does it? It has to match perfectly. On both sides? Yeah, okay. So one whole side has to match, is what you're saying. Uh yes, yes. the side okay. you're going through has to match. So that one matches, but I can't get Good night, it. Good night, VVG. Night, VVG. Patoko, oh, I fell in a death loop in your previous level. Death loop. <laughs> Just die, die, Zook. die. Zook. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> hmm. That's definitely uh, interesting. Uh, that one lines up, the one you're in now. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. Unless I want to switch out. Is there something else that lines up with that one? Uh, let's see. On the bottom, bottom left, not really. Just that one. Is anything so then the right. the right. Yes. Uh, there, there is that one. That on the one. Far left. I can get. I can, the right. I can get one. Oops. And I can get to the right hand side. Get that key down there, but I'll die. Nope. Oh, there's this spot. It, I don't think they purposely get make you fall into an area you can't recover from. A big open area? No. Yeah. So oh, then there's there a is. down. There's one here. There's some keys that I can get here. 
Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh. At least one key. Oh, maybe two? Maybe two? No. Can you get past there? That. Um, so if you go back to the no, left. I have to go back to this because I don't think anything else. Yeah. Matches. There's a down. So I think there's a down on the one above you or the one up into the right. Okay. That one there. Does that make sense? Yeah. That, that looks like it fits. Yep. Ooh, and then you can jump back up through it. Yes, that's a big that one. Yeah. Neat. Neat. Just have to not die. Oh, no, you no. felt. Oh, oh okay. thought you felt on the wrong side there for a second. Ooh, that's that's. Can I jump on the one above, or do I need to go down and jump across? Maybe I better put something underneath. I think you needed to jump up, up, up above. I would have tried that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. I thought you were I think stuck I'm down hit there. My head. <gasps> oh. That's okay. Oh, at least you respawn there. Well, give me another chance to try. I think I can make it. Oh. Maybe not. Or from below. <laughs> you can try it from below too. Yeah. That might be safer. Oh. No, I can't jump up that high. Maybe no, you can. Up. That's the only way to get there. From here? You have to. Can't jump that high. No, no, I mean, you have to jump f over, though. Like, there's no other way to get to that side, so... I don't think. Well, I can try a couple more times, but I think you just hit your head. No. Oh! There you go. Yay! I figured that was the only way, because that's the only thing that connects with that... That's true. That, that world, if that makes sense. Because it, it's blocked on the other side. That makes sense. Ooh. Can you even go up here? And, oh, I can! Oh, my God. It's so good. It's very finicky platforming. It's the joystick up to jump is a little harder to control. Not bad, just harder to control. You can definitely get up there. There we go. I'm gonna do that. It's so hard. one on the right there. Yay, Touch. that's good enough. So let's see where to go next. Okay, I you probably want to... Nothing goes up, yeah. So down. you have There's to go There's one down. there, bottom right. That matches. Now I can either go to the left or to the right. You're going to need both. Now what do I want to do to follow up. The right might get you the key on the left there. Yep. Mm. That one. Mm. You can go right back. And then get that other one. Nice. Okay. Make sure oh boy. Just fall. Oh, I can just fall. Fall to the left. Oh. <laughs> you have to hug the side to do that. What I can do is go, oh, I died. Oh, no. I'll have to start from where I last uh, stopped. That is certainly <laughs> an advantage. Jump, jump, jump up to the other one. What ah, are you doing? I, <laughs> I jump up, jump up to the it's other one. It's not as easy as it. Yeah, uh, no, you have to, you have to hug the wall. And then hug the wall down. There you go. And then... So the bottom corner, left-hand corner, can you get there? Does it line up? Yeah. That's what I was going to do next. Back. It looks like it lines up. Okay, I'm just touch it. There we go. Okay. And I think Oh, you want to use that? Yeah. Is my next move. Hug the left. Hug the left. Ridiculous. Uh -uh. Yeah, like this it. is definitely ridiculous reality. Smiley Happy face. face. Unintentional maybe or intentional? No, it's yes. very intentional. Uh, and one more. And uh, let's see. So I need to find one that is two down. And then I 
Maybe there. I can do that. <gasps> that works perfectly. Yep. Just mm -hmm. over to the right. Yes, to the right hand side. Just be careful, you another hugging. Oh, you can fall there. <gasps> oh, James! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, just keep running to the right! Hush. And you have to do all of it all over again. All of it? Yeah. It's the top left corner, I think. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you just run into things so fast. Yeah, this isn't Baldur's Gate 3. My style of play is just go for it. <laughs> uh, rawr! Okay, then. Top. Yeah, I have to do this. Hold W to win. <laughs> <laughs> is that the secret? <laughs> um, that one works. Yeah, I do want to go down there, yeah. Because that's how I got there last time. And then you have to go down to the right-hand one. But yeah, yes. yeah, you adjust it, of course. It's not too, too bad to get back to where you are. And then it's... Down to that one. There. And then go down and then do not immediately jump. To the... Just fall into the ledge? Yeah. Fall into the ledge first. There you go. Oh, it's a, quite a leap. Uh, yay. yay! And then you need to get back to that upper, upper one. So. Yep. And then so you're that's done. a big gap, and that connects Excellent. to. Uh, okay, that connects to that one. And then I need an upper one. And uh, where is it? There's an upper one. Okay, I think I got it. That one. And then one way. And that one. And then that one. Da, da, da. It says reality on this screen. Oh, no, oh, did we miss it? <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's cactus time. I, did, I didn't notice that it said real. It spelled out reality. Oh, oh it's, it's only three. three. Just a lot of keys. Maybe this is like falling. stage two. Oh, it did. Oh, I missed it. I'll have to look at that in the replay. See why I scheduled only two games tonight. <laughs> They're big games. I did re-enable the catnip. Um, Cause I think Atari is fine now with his asthma. He's been getting regular poofs. And I don't know if the catnip is triggering it. So we'll find out. So they do like catnip. Oh. I do that too sometimes. All the time, accidentally. Because you think, oh, it's a jump. He's a different color. Does he change colors every level? I don't know. I didn't notice what color he was before. Oh, yep. Yeah. That matches. Can you get up to that one? Or is that where you started? Uh, yeah, you can get up to that one. You can go down and get that one by the door. Oh, you can walk past that cactus, too. That's not a barrier, is it? Oh, it is a barrier. Oh, but it doesn't okay. kill you. Oh, it turns the keys upside down. It That's does. much better. Yeah. That is much better. Because before, it was just, like, changing the color slightly.
Oh, yeah. Another key. Maybe? Ooh, Cactus. no. Oh, that one doesn't block you. Okay. No, it does. It just doesn't completely. Like, this is... This is blocking you. Oh, the side of it doesn't yeah. block you. Okay. There you go. Get another one. Yeah. Don't, don't fall. fall. I think that's going to be the danger now in levels. It's yeah. like, well, you can get there, but if you fall, you have to start all over again. bottom which I can get. Yeah, you can do it right now. And then I'm gonna have to drop through, which is fine. Mm. Yeah, okay. At least this doesn't Spiky! Me. Ah! Spiky! And the door opens. Such a nice game. Uh yeah, this way. Yeah. And then fall oh take a leap. Yeah. And then fall into the door. It, it really wasn't that hard? No. Because it only had so many screens. So if you want to nice. get back to this level, that's the code. That's so mm. weird. What a crazy code. Shift. Select start. Option select start. Start. Option select start. Option option select. Wow. That's nice. the craziest code I've ever seen. Not couch compliant. Not couch compliant. <laughs> the code isn't. The game is. The game is. Yeah. Uh, that okay. falls straight down. So. Uh, oh no, there is I... a floor. Okay, there's a floor. Now, if I go here, will that help oh. me? Yeah. I don't think I can jump that high. No. You can't jump to any of those. No. <laughs> so you you're definitely gonna have to go Over. through this one, and then. Uh, then I can go down. Yeah. Then I can get this one. Oh, nope, wrong way. Then I can get this one. Mm -hmm. And then. And then I can get this one. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, then I can get this one. Ooh, this one's gonna be. I think the hardest thing was making up these levels. Oh, and then you can drop down. Oh, don't go back. Drop oh. down to that one. Oh yes. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's an optimized way. Oh, yeah. To do all of these. Speed running it. Yeah. Um, and then you probably have to go drop down and go to the left because I think that's your only option there. Right. Yeah. Okay. You know what to do. So yes, go I to do. the left, but don't drop down. No. I want to go to the right. No, because you want to catch that one in the bottom left there. I'm going to do one thing first, because there's a good opportunity right there. Oh, okay. That's non-destructive. That means I won't fall somewhere and not be able oh, to get out. Oh, I was going to do exactly that, but in a slightly different way. Oh, okay. That's okay. Uh, and then you need to get, to get into that center bit. So, mm. yeah, that works. Go to the far, far, far left. Oops. Get to the center bit. Oh no, that's the center. Yeah. So. Who's that thing in here? Eh, I'll get another key one. Figure that one out. That one. Yeah, that's. I was trying to. So you need to get into the center, and there's only one way to drop down into the center, which is through the left-hand side. So if you go back up there and then adjust them, I think you can get into the center. back to where you were. Uh, go over to the right, like walk over to the right. Now go back up. Oh, no, stay where you are. Okay, yeah. And then go up. Or sorry, um... Shift it over. There. Oh, yeah, okay. There, and then... And then I can get out of go here. Go here. Uh, 
least I'm up top now. No. Uh, it's... Yeah. So you need to get to the midpoint. Okay, so shift it around. Put the bottom right one to your uh, left-hand side. Go down to the middle, but don't cross over. Go down. Go down. Okay. Stop there. Yeah. And then adjust it so you can get... Go, okay, go, go, go back go. up. No. Shift it back up. And go then walk over. over. And now shift it around to get into the middle. Oh, yeah, that's what go. I was trying to... <laughs> And then you need to adjust that. Whee. One more to go, Ooh. and it's right beside the door. That's perfect. Yay. I gave up. I couldn't do a pixel part for jumping up. Bored to move Bored. all the pains. Yeah. It gets oh, on the one that so we had much flipping around on the yeah. one that we had to move around a lot mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. desert land it'd be very nice to know how far we are <laughs> it's hard to know we'll just have to give up at some point. we're gonna stop at 8 30 how about that okay sounds like a plan to me yep. 8 30 art <laughs> This is mm, such a clever design. Um, I've never played a game like this before in my life. I think it's pretty fun. It is so unique. I can't even think of another game in this genre. Like this? A mm. platform where you move around your screens? No, it's just, I've never heard of the genre. Is there a game where you even move pieces of the play field around? I can't even think of that, let alone like puzzles, but like piecing together the world that you, that you exist in. Oh, it's absolutely unique. Pseudographic says it was also quite an achievement to make it work on the Atari. It does seem like a, a pretty challenging um, exercise. Matosimi is a master on puzzle games. Yeah, let me look, uh, look at the other games he's made. I always make notes of... Um, let me just see what the game is. Binary Parasite. Another absolute amazing... Um... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. You start where you ended up. Here. Yeah, Binary Parasite. Another great, great game. Um... Fallen Kingdom. That's another puzzly game. Yeah, that's another great game. Where you move around chess pieces? Is that the one? That's it. Yeah. Maybe I can't go up. Um, other ones I have not played. But if they're all as good as this, I should definitely check them out. I'm playing right handed, wow. It's, it's bugging me. <laughs> bugging you. There we go. Yeah, he's definitely the master of puzzle games. You can't jump. Oh, I see. It's a long jump, eh? Oh. I don't think you can make it. I don't know. Oh, you can! I don't oh, have a lot these of are faith. big jumps. Oh, it's all oh, jumping. No. Is this level all jumping? I think so. I think it's all in the. This is gonna be rough. Oh, you jumped up there last time? Yes. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Or did I jump from here? Maybe yeah, I you must have there. jumped from there. Castle Defender Port is also fun to play. Yeah, I didn't do too well on the Castle Defender one. That's the one where you're moving. <gasps> It's moving in a snaky fashion. It's a, it's a tower defense game. I didn't do too well. We played it for a bit, but I don't think we wrapped our... No, we did wrap our brain around that one, didn't we? In the end? Yeah, it took us a while. I think two playthroughs. 
brutal. It's brutal. <gasps> oh, oh God. That's bad. Okay, you clean up. I'll keep my Clean up, it's on the power bar. Okay, I'll help. Where was that drink? Naughty, naughty. Hopefully, it didn't damage the computer. And that tiny spilled a drink. Oh my god, it has to be so precise. good yeah that one is this one definitely is there's a challenge in um the jumping part good job yep it is jumpy jump and you need to fall down into things yeah i think so can you fall into the top right one i think so there you go yeah, yeah just leave the power bar off do not turn oh no no on. it's off unplug just, the computer i did yes, okay that's good. what i'm doing it's just it just splashed like it didn't. Now you know where all those. For a uh, lot, but the power bar is a concern. <laughs> computers come from that people spill gunk into. <laughs> Me. Yep, you. No. Troublemaker. Just splashed. Now there's one on the right, so I think we can do that. Oh, no, we can't. It splashed, but it splashed into the holes of the power bar. Uh huh. So that is probably. No, it's very bad. Upside down. The power bar is trash. Yeah, I don't. It's an old one anyways. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's light doesn't work. And... Exactly. Uh, where can I go? So where are you going? You're at the top. I need to fall again, but I'll have to set myself up for that. Um, so you need to get into the right hand one. Like that guy at the bottom. Oh. So, huh. oh, it gets you into the bottom. Oh, right. Um. No, I think you need the bottom one to your right, maybe. Oh. And get into that little hole, and then. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you move over from there? No. Nothing matches. Mm. Only that matches. In there. You have to go to the left then. I think we got. I did this right at the beginning, and there was no choice to go left. Mm. And you go down. And you can go down. Okay. So we need to be at a lower spot. We need that one too. Okay. Oh no, I got it. Okay. Then we can. Oh, that gets you up. <gasps> go back down. To the left, you have to get up to that one. At the very top there. It's the only way you can get there. So you might as well do that. In the middle top? Yeah. You have to get up to get that key. No? Well, tell me what... The, see the flashing red key? Yes, I in do. In that one? Move it over. You, you have to oh. climb up there. Can I get up there? Uh, oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, I can. Yeah, okay. you can. It's this awful screen, but yes. That wasn't... It was bad, but it wasn't too bad. It's just jumping across from there to there I found really hard. Yay! Can you go to the right from there? No, it's rocks. Is No. Oh. And you are blocked. So I have 
but I can fall down oh, yes, to here. No, I can't fall down anywhere. Oh, no. It's just a one-way ticket on this one. Oh, okay. So I have to go back down. Yeah. But it provides two paths. No, no, it doesn't. And that only... Well, we have to go down anyway. So. Okay. Now let's... That's the only way. But there's a fall down there. The fall down will work. If you move the bottom two to the left twice... And move the bottom two to the left. Oh, that doesn't match it. Oh, it doesn't. It only fits with this. But then that. Mm, then there's a fall down to the right. But you don't want that. But maybe I can oh, adjust. No. By going over here. Mm. I love the music. Oh, there's a new key. That's how you get it. Good That's job. How you get it now. Now I'm in the bottom. So I need I need one more key. So that is it. You need to get to that left top left I corner need to one. Fall to it. You need the top left corner one. Do you see it? Yep. That's how you fall down. Yeah, so I need to be You need to get there. So how do you do that? I do this. Thank you. Oh, I unplugged it. It's still there. Put it in rice. Yeah. No, it's a, it's an old, I, old I think it's power gonna get, it's, it's gonna get it's getting turfed. recycled. <laughs> yeah. Recycled. There we go, and just hang to the left of this. Yay, and then the door. Go to the left. Oh, and then down? Nowhere else to go, I yeah. think. And this takes us to this one. And that falls down. And which goes to only one of them. Da -da. Yay! Thank you! Good job! That was a fun, fun, code. fun game. There's a code to continue yep. uh, at a later date. Because yes. it's a very fun game. Oh my goodness, so good! Um, absolutely um, stunning concept. Mm. Um, yep, the original team that did it on Flash and also the Atari team, uh, Atari 8 -bit team, both deserve all the awards that they did win. Because this is just astounding. Everything about it. The graphics, the music, um, the concept. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Um, so... Boom. So we've got the code. We can continue on later. Thankfully, the video held up nicely. Didn't go all crappy. But I still do need to investigate. So, thanks for hanging out with us. Let's see what's coming up, because there are a couple things on the radar here um, that are coming up that I have to prepare for. We have the Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary starting this Thursday. It's this the exact Thursday? 30th anniversary of the oh. uh, Atari Jaguar. And we're going to be going through 1993 and 1994. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Through the games. With Darcy? On a Thursday? Yeah. Oh, he is here. Because uh... I thought you were doing it on Friday with Darcy. Yeah, Friday is Darcy. Yeah. So you can do Thursday. But I have stuff on Thursday evening, so... Uh... Yeah. yeah. 
time does Darcy get here? Yeah, I'll have to ask him. I'll have to ask him. Yeah. All Thursday? I can, we can do it late. Yeah. Oh, it's it's going to be. Yeah. It can be any time. Yeah. Um, we'll figure it out. Anyway, it's not 30 no. years old. It can't be. <laughs> yeah, it exactly. Is. I'm sorry. Sadly. Mm. Thanks, Dan. Um, so, yeah, we'll be playing through 1993 and 1994, mm. which is a third of the games. It's going to be divided nice. into three days. Okay. Um, day two is not scheduled yet. We'll have to figure that out. And then day mm -hmm. three is 1990. Uh, oh, what is this mess? 95, part 298. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part two needs to be deleted. Yeah. Um, and that is not part one. What is this mess? Oh, 1995, part one. 1995, part two. Because there was a lot of 95s. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I should maybe put 1995A and B. That's a little well. bit less confusing. Um, and we have some partial shows that are getting put together. Um, Atari Age Day 2023 is imminent. Uh, it's going to be on a Saturday. It's not going to be this Saturday. Oh, no. It's probably not going to be next Saturday. Because uh, I believe that's... When's Thanksgiving in the U.S.? Oh, it's this... It's this Saturday. This Saturday. Um, obviously, it's not this Saturday. Um, yeah. And it's maybe next Saturday, but it's probably going to be the Saturday after that is most likely. Okay. So not the 2nd, but the 9th, November, December 9th. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Things are still coming together. Still figuring it out. Yes. Yeah. Um, we're going to be talking with all the developers. Mm -hmm. um, and Al unboxing every single game that's going into the store Yay! chatting with each developer a little that's bit gonna be exciting. playing the game a little bit yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun it's uh it's Excellent. gonna be eight hours on a saturday starting at noon mm. so uh each uh each game each developer gets 20 minutes we're gonna be powering through them all yep um it's gonna be great there's some really cool games coming into the atari age store soon and it'll be um a lot of fun talking to all the devs um and later in december that's going to be changed to a 12 or um going to be talking with john shampoo about Yay. his new uh, releases as well elevator Yay. agent and turbo arcade excellent uh and unboxing those nice. i don't know when that's going to be either still up in the air still still whenever things dates. get yes. solidified because you know things have to be in place Oh. The stores have to be ready. Yes. So that people can buy them because they're yes. going to look at those games and I, they're going to say, I want that one and that one. <laughs> and they're going to go buy and, well, they have to be there. So yeah. Those have to be in place. And, uh, you know, and then the rest of the year will play out. We're going to do a four player special at some point. Um, and then probably on a Friday um, in the evening. Is that going to be before? The holidays or after you figure? I would like to do it before the holidays. If we're doing Atari Age and the the know, it's a lot. John Shampoo, it's and a holiday some, show. But there are some we're running Fridays. out of weeks. Oh yeah, we're running mm. out of weeks. <laughs> it may be pushed to January. It's yep. not a solidified thing. It's yep. not a urgent thing. There's no deadlines Kittens. for that. So it yes. might be January. We'll see. Because, we'll yeah, there's a holiday special yep. as well on the 19th. That's the last day before our holiday break. Yes. Yay, holiday break. I don't know why that's there. That's not... Yeah, I need to clean this up. Um, and uh, then, yeah, actually, we might be back. We'll be back for New Year's for Eve. New Year's. We could always do a little New Year's Eve show if uh, there's something worth playing. So, yes. Yeah. New Year's Eve is a Sunday. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, we could do that. Yeah. Ooh, 20... Yeah, yeah, we could, if we don't have anything else better to do, <laughs> we'll do a New Year's Eve show. Yeah. We'll just do some random things. I don't know. Yeah. Play some favorite games. Some, some things Do an After Dark. Yeah, there we go. Because it would be an After Dark. It'd it be, is. A it'd New be the New dark. Year's Countdown. There you go. Oh, that's a great idea, actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll do an After Dark Fair New enough. Year's special. All right. For those people, I mean, it's New Year's different times. Exactly, it's a world, different. So. It's different for everyone. We'll just have our own little countdown, and yeah, and uh, well, we'll somebody... figure out what time zone we're in that we'll be celebrating along with us. So oh yeah, go. we can do the the time zones. Yeah, I think Yay, we did that before Easter. once, Yay. didn't we? One year, we did the uh, time zone celebrations. Did we? Maybe. I don't. Somebody know. put an Atari cat. Because it's Atari. Come here, buddy. Let's put, 
Four Aren't you, are you the best? And four sprites. You're the best. Bouncing around the screen. Bounce, you're bounce. the best. Yes, you are. Today, you're the best. Yeah. You won. Winner, winner. He has no clue. <laughs> He's like, more treats, please. Um, more And treats. then February 2nd, 6th annual Atari Homebrew Awards nominee reveal. Mm -hmm. And then on the 24th of February is the live presentation. Wow. That's Ooh. the big show. Excuse me. With Already the green set. screen. With the green screen. Yay, green screen. It's fun. It is fun. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy that a lot. Yeah, you get is. a different get, background every year. You get dressed up, different background, yes. talk to all the winners. Yes. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So, oh, there's one more poll. For those of you still hanging around, which game did you enjoy the best today? Uh, of the two. <laughs> Only had two. There we go. So we had Marbled and Ridiculous, Ridiculous Reality. Reality. Yep. Both puzzly games. I'm 100% Ridiculous Reality. Oh, I want to keep playing. Because it's, it's so much fun. A platformer and it's a puzzle game. So it works for both it's of us. It's both categories. Yeah. Yep. Very, yeah. I mean, Bar Marbled is excellent too. They're both yep. very, very fun. It's also That's also a very good puzzle game. Yeah. It's like a t they're both kind of tile based puzzle games. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. you both move around. Yeah. So I guess the other one is a move around. I was trying to rack my brains thinking, oh, this is the first game like to move your your play field. It's like, no, we just played one or you can move your play field around. Yeah. It's just not as obvious. Yeah. You can switch your play field around. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Patoko likes number yeah, one. Yeah, they're both excellent. Yeah. Both excellent games. Ooh, I wonder if you could do a 10-liner for the other oh, game. Oh, oh. You might be able to because you could store that data pretty cheaply and the way yeah mm -hmm. but uh yeah you could do a very reduced one eh, maybe that's an idea for a one a 10 line of <laughs> vitoko i don't know if you could press it down vidoko might have already done it you never know oh he's done it, done it years <laughs> he's ago done all of them <laughs> yeah um so thanks for hanging out with us um uh, i think so <laughs> yeah i think he can do it or you think you've done it already before <laughs> So a lot of people are voting for two, 83% Ridiculous Reality. Nice. Um, both were excellent games tonight. Um, thanks for hanging out. Chitlila, Vitoko, Dan, if you see pseudo graphics, um, great work on the first game. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, thank you for your help with the Atari mm -hmm. um, power requirements. I know that it's not that now, and I have a better power supply for the Atari, That's so excellent. that I don't have to worry about it getting close to yeah. the edge of power. Whew. RC7E, Gamma Dev, it's Kev. Hey, Kev. Hey. Um, who else? Who else? Crunchy, Crunchy the Clown. The clown. <laughs> Atari 800 XL rules. Ivory Tower Collections. Bahamut. Jiraiya. Krunak Lion. Forty eight K Ram, thanks for the invasion. Yes, that's awesome. The raid from your channel. Yes. And everybody else that came with you. Thank Yay. you so much. Uh thanks for the great show. Good night. Yes, good night to you too. And we'll be mm -hmm. back on uh, Thursday slash Friday. Definitely Thursday. Definitely Thursday. And then definitely Friday. Okay. So that is what our upcoming schedule is. So we will see you then. Have a great night yeah. and have a great week. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye.